everyone. I hope you're well. If you are um, joining me from the UK, I hope you've survived the heat this week. Um, it has been really hot, but now, typical English weather, I'm sitting on my boat in the pouring rain. It is absolutely bucketing down. and We've had some fantastic thunderstorms as well. Well, it's been a really busy week this week. Um, we started it off with the Cane Hill flight, which was just brilliant because um, everyone was so friendly. Uh, the volunteers helped us in the middle part of the flight where the locks are very close together. And um, But as you just were waiting for the locks to um, fill and empty because we had to, the locks were set against us, so we had to go through the whole fill and empty process. Um, uh, it was lovely because people would stop and talk to you at a social distance, which is good. Um, but you met, well, I, just, I just really enjoyed myself because I met so many lovely people and the surroundings when you're doing the Cane Hill flight are stunning. You've got gorgeous views in the distance and you've got the ponds on the right hand side of you. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I really enjoyed the Cane Hill flight. So we have got the engine on because we are going to start the Cane Hill flight 29 locks. Sun is beating down. It's probably going to be about 30 degrees today. And we've decided that's a really good temperature to go through 29 locks. <laughs> Wish me luck. Do you think we're going to be able to do this? I think so. So I've just messed up the first lock. Three people had to help me. And now Michael's waiting for me at the second lock. Second lock. Oh, happens to be next to a blackberry bush. Uh, I need all the vitamin C I can get. Just give it a clean. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. There's a wide beam that's just gone ahead of us. Um, going down so we have to set all the locks which is fine it's what lock life is all about so huh I'm a bit busy lock number three still waiting to lock number four um can you do lock gates pigeon <laughs> Look, number five. There's a law that if you see a bench, you have to sit on it. Okay, so still breathing. I think we have seven more locks to do. I'm going to go and sit in the for me. Just keep getting sidetracked by all the amazing wildlife. I know I should be doing that look right now, over there. Um, I think I'll wait here till I get to the Have a cup of tea. So 
I'm going to moor there and have a cup of tea. It's time for a break and a cup of tea. Fancy a cup of tea? I'm just sitting down and I'm going to wait for our boat to come out of this lock. I'm just eating my way through a mountain of cheese and toast. <sighs> I just fell asleep after my cheese on toast and now I'm having a cup of tea. Sandwich is eaten, tea gone, back we go. for me. Boat's gone through but Zephyr's there waiting. Hang on Zephyr, I've got to put this paddle down here. Look, paddle's still up. Sells green. green has a unique iron grid structure along the towpath which stops it from leaking water which it was doing in the 90s and creating boggy area so they create restructured the towpath side and as a result they've created wetlands and these unique wetland habitats have formed on the other side so I really want to go back and moor there so I can explore those areas and, and have a little look to see uh, what wildlife is there but it was beautiful we were there i saw a speckled wood butterfly i've not seen one of those this year and um did some blackberry picking although i ruined the blackberry pie by adding sambuca i don't know why i had a little bit of sambuca left i thought it would be nice don't put sambuca in your blackberry pie is my advice to you I mean, just look at that view it's absolutely stunning So it's that little view too. That's quite a nice amount. It's enough for a pie. So when we left Sells Green, um, the weather really, really was um, hot at that point. We left and we went to Giles Wood. I was watching the sunset going down and filming that. I kept turning to the side where the canal was because in the plants on the edge of the bank was this really, and I think it's an orb spider, a common orb spider. But if you are a, an arachnid expert, then please could you add in the comments what spider it is. Charleswood, we then moored in Bradford on Avon.
hope you have had a lovely week and take care of yourself and have a great week ahead. Bye. Buzzard of Brawn Beauty Held between the branches V Your feathered canvas brown flecked paints for me A buzzard of Brawn Beauty Beak widens, screeches fitfully Ashen hooktip, golden beak calls to me O oh, buzzard of Brawn Beauty You flick your head occasionally Black eyes look fixed, then fixed to me O oh, buzzard of Brawn Beauty but too soon and oh so suddenly you lift your bronze cloak magnificently then fly to spy another branch's fee, oh buzzard of brawn beauty.